Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to talk about how you can use Rhino to create 2D drawings. Okay? Let's start. For this uh, video, I will use uh, this dimension drawing as an example of how we can recreate it. Okay? So as you can see, we have a sketch with um, some of the dimensions. Okay. There are more than one way of uh, creating this drawing and what I'm going to show is uh, not the only way but it's the way that uh, I find uh, most intuitive basically the easiest way for me is to use the offset of curves to create the construction line first before I embark on the actual creation of the of the fine hiner curves okay so let's say i know that uh this dimension here is 10 so what i want to do is uh, i was draw a, a straight line first maybe i uh, use the green snap draw a straight line okay and then i know that these two sides are mirrored or symmetrical so i can uh, use the offset command to offset this uh base curve so let's say uh, this is my base curve so uh, on each side you will be 10 divided by 2 will be 5 so over here you can type 10 divided by 2 to create a line on each side okay so yeah you can see now I have this okay and then I also know that uh, this uh, dimension here is 6 so what I can do is uh, I'll just draw a vertical line first and uh, again use the offset method to create this this uh, distance here so I'm going to type an offset again and set the distance to 6 okay 6 so maybe I click here and maybe I just put it here okay yeah so you can see it's uh, 6 over here okay next I have a distance here of 26 so and it's starting from here so again I can use the offset method change this to 26 enter click here and here and here is where this will correspond to this portion here and i know that i have a circle with a radius of uh, eight units so what i can do is uh, come over here and find the one that uses the uh, center and the radius okay so for this you might want to make sure that the relevant object snap is being used Okay, I want to use this as the center, so I will have to use the object snap intersect. Okay, so this, when you ask for center of circle, this will be it. And then, ask for the radius. Okay, the radius over here is 8, so I'm going to type 8. Enter. Yeah, so I get this. So, in a nutshell, I got the basic structure. Okay, I can proceed to do a little bit of... Uh, trimming work to remove the the extra or excess uh, lines so from here i can type the trim command trim enter so select everything when ask for the cutting object okay select everything enter then object to trim so we can start to do our our trim so this is not what i want 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 okay and all this will not be inside so you can trim them away Okay. Okay. So I like I got some lines uh, which I want to retain some curves. Sorry, uh, these are the curves I want to retain. So the rest I can uh, delete them away. Okay. So I can delete them away. Okay. I might need this. Okay. Because I have not created uh, the, this this uh, line here. So what I can do is again make sure that your relevant object snap is in operation. So I click on this polyline, uh, select this end, snap to this end, and snap to this end. Okay, so these excess uh, lines are not in use now, so we can remove them. Okay, so we got the basic shape there, and the only last thing that we have not included is this fillet here. Okay. So I want to show you how to do a fillet which is actually quite easy. 
you go to the curve tools and use the fillet curve okay instead it's over here uh, radius 5 so click on this uh, we already have heavy at radius 5 so you must change this to radius 5 enter so uh, click on this and click on this yeah we get the radius 5 and we do the same for the other side okay yep yeah so we have uh, recreated this shape you can see it's quite easy okay and now I'll proceed to show you how to like add the dimensions okay Basically, the dimensions creation are uh, tools are inside here. So I can use things like linear, align. So I want to use the linear again. You might want to use relevant object snaps. Okay, let's say I want to get this. Okay, and that will require me to find the center here. So I have to make sure my center is turned on. So I'm doing a right mouse click to uh deselect all the other object snaps. Okay, so. When you prompt me for okay, maybe I'll take out the grid snap to uh, prevent uh, the grid snap from interfering with my work now. So if I hover close to the edge of this uh, circle or this uh, part of the circle, you can see that the center is being snapped to. So this is my first point. Then ask me for the second point. So uh, maybe I need to turn on object snap and uh, this is the second point. Yeah, so see, I'm able to recreate this again. And Let's proceed to do the rest. So, uh, linear. So, maybe use this end and end. Okay. And now, let's... Uh, okay, there's one more here. So, click here. Okay, just want to uh, just do a negative demo. Okay, if I use a line, what happens is that if I click here and here, I'll get like a line dimension. Okay, this is not what I want. Okay, a line means you actually align to be in the same same directions as the two full points okay what you want to use is a linear dimension okay, so linear okay linear, linear. okay great now we are only left with the dimensioning of the radiuses okay so to the dimension okay radial dimension click here we are we are done ready so you can see uh, this is one way of creating 2d drawings and inputting their dimensions okay hope that this video has been useful to you see you around bye